Volcano, a mountain with a hole at its top that is an opening to the center of the earth, also called the magma chamber. It's through this hole that molten rock, ash, and gases escape from deep within the earth to the surface. But how do these enormous natural wonders get formed? Let's find out step by step. How do volcanoes form? Step 1. Create a magma chamber. All volcanoes have a magma chamber deep underground, a vast reservoir of molten rock known as magma. Ow. This magma is created when rocks in the Earth's mantle melt due to high temperatures and pressures. Step 2. Make a hole. The next step is to create a hole, or vent, through which the magma can reach the Earth's surface. This hole can be formed by various geological processes, including the movement of tectonic plates, the decay of radioactive elements, and the buildup of pressure from volcanic gases. Step 3. Erupt. When the pressure within the magma chamber exceeds the weight of the overlying rock, magma forces its way to the surface through the vent, creating a volcanic eruption. During an eruption, the magma is released as lava, ash, and gases, which can flow down the sides of the volcano in a fiery display of molten rock. Step 4. Build up a cone. Over time, the repeated eruptions of lava and the deposition of volcanic ash and other materials build up a cone-shaped mountain around the vent. This cone is what we typically think of as a volcano. There are different types of volcanoes, such as shield volcanoes, which are formed by the accumulation of fluid lava flows, and composite volcanoes, which are formed by alternating layers of lava and ash. Dot. Some volcanoes are dormant, meaning they are not currently erupting, but may erupt in the future while others are extinct, meaning they will not erupt again. Now you know how volcanoes form step by step, but do you know which area on Earth has the most volcanoes? The answer is the Pacific Ocean. The region known as the Pacific Ring of Fire is home to more than 75% of the world's active volcanoes. This is because the region is located along the boundary of several tectonic plates that are constantly moving and colliding. The movement and collision of these plates create conditions that cause rocks in the mantle to melt and form magma, which then erupts as volcanoes. Some of the most famous volcanoes in the world are located in the Pacific Ring of Fire, such as Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, and Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Other areas with high concentrations of volcanoes include the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which runs through Iceland, and the Lesser Antilles Volcanic Arc in the Caribbean. So now, you know not only how volcanoes form, but also where they are most likely to occur. So if you live in an area with volcanoes, be prepared for an eruption.